Hello and welcome back to another review with me, John. Today I'm going to be doing another soda review. It's not Mountain Dew this time. This time it is... Dr. Pepper Fantastic Chocolate. We notice this can has none of the nutritional fact information on it. It does have ingredients though. That's because this is not available in stores. <clears throat> This was available as a limited edition for people who signed up for <clears throat> sorry, people who signed up for a Dr. Pepper account and then went through a bunch of like games or things. I think you I think you could buy Dr. Pepper items and you'd get points for it and if you reach a certain amount of points, you got different things and the top prize I think was they would send you a two-pack of this. Uh, I originally saw it and I debated doing it. But here's the thing. They only had a limited amount. And I know people were going to rush out to do it as soon as possible. And in order to do it, I would have to buy a certain amount of Dr. Peppers. And then upload pictures of the receipts. And... Uh, it was it was weird how different sizes of things counted for different amount of points and I kind of tried to do the math in my head and I just like well what if what if the receipt doesn't show exactly how many things you got and I thought I really don't want to drink that many Dr. Peppers I like Dr. Pepper but uh, typically I for everyday stuff, I drink things that don't have sugar in it. I really only drink really sugary stuff for reviews like this. Um, but, eventually it came on eBay, and I got a can for less than it would account cost for me to buy all those Dr. Peppers, for sure. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I got it in my hand right now. I'm going to open it up, tell you what I think about it. Dr. Pepper, fantastic chocolate. There's also a football on it. Like a chocolate football, maybe? Maybe for, like, fantasy football? Fantastic chocolate fantasy football? Oh, there's another football up there. I don't know what chocolate has to do with football. It's a weird thing. I don't remember seeing football on any of the advertisements. Give it a whiff definitely gives you a chocolatey smell. Um, before I try this, I want to say one thing. This desk that I use has a drawer that's like right in front of me. Um, usually it doesn't bother me, but when I pull this thing, this thing is on wheels, by the way. I just use it to, you know, trap light in front of me, but also to make sure whatever mess I have in back there isn't a problem. Uh, but, when I push this up here, it really limits the space between me and the desk. And there's a knob on the drawer. And I, usually every time I sit down with it close like this, the knob will catch on my pocket. And I think I'm going to like break the table. But anyway, let's get on to the review. Dr. Pepper. Fantastic chocolate. It does have that like wrapper type around the can. Yes, I'm pouring it into a cup so you can see the color. Even though we would all assume, and correctly so, that it's just dark brown caramely black color. Um, Tootsie Roll chocolate smell. The chocolatey flavor is really all I'm getting. Usually Dr. Pepper has like a almost cherry-like flavor to it. And I'm not getting any of that. I'm just getting like chocolate soda or chocolate cola. Um, if you remember I did something similar to this, it was... 
Pepsi S'mores, which had a chocolatey flavor similar to this. Um, and then also, I think, had like a Tootsie Roll smell flavor to it. And this tastes very similar to that. I don't know if you notice my my elbow bruise. If you've been watching my videos, this is what it looks like today. A lot less purple, but more like dark brown. Almost looks like I got a tan on my arm. Except for like right here and right here. It's still kind of like purpley. Interesting thing about my arm injury. I'm actually hurt in two places here, but also this joint where th this bottom bone attaches to my wrist hand here. So there's pain right there as well as the elbow, but I've, I never got any type of bruising or anything up here. But uh, anytime like I, not this cup, but if I pick up something heavy and hold it far away from my body, I can feel it here and here. But I will tell you, much better. I can hold a lot more weight on it. And the pain is much less than before. And I have way more range of motion without pain. So hopefully I can get back on the field this week. I did miss one game um, because it definitely wasn't ready to play that game. But the team ended up winning, so the streak is still alive. I'm going to finish this. So, ooh. Excuse me, but like that, after that drink, I let out like a small burp. You didn't hear it because I was being polite. But when I did that, the sometimes when you burp, you get like a flavor or a, or a scent that comes out. And I actually did get like a Dr. Peppery flavor from that. So there is some Dr. Pepper flavor in here. But I only detected it from a burp. It says artificially flavored chocolate soda. I'm sure the ingredients won't tell me anything. There's caffeine in it. For some reason I thought Dr. Pepper didn't have caffeine in it. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. Caramel color. Forty-one milligrams of caffeine, not labeled for resale. Um, so here's my opinion of the Dr. Pepper Fantastic Chocolate. It tastes like the Pepsi chocolate one that I had before. It is okay, not special. Um, I'm sure if it was a regular retail thing, people would buy it until they didn't buy it anymore, which might be like a season. Um, but I'm sure that with it, whatever it costs to run, like a limited run, they'd get at least their money back, maybe make a decent profit. Um, <clears throat> I got uh, another Mountain Dew that I'm coming up, I already have, that I'll be doing a review of soon. Um, and then hopefully I won't uh, have too many more sugary soda reviews. Because, you know, I try to stay away from sugary drinks. But curiosity always gets me. And if you're cur curious about this one, um, the cheaper ones on eBay that I got, I think, are sold out. And really all that's left are some that are not worth it. So, unless you're lucky and you can get one that's relatively low in price, I wouldn't say that... Uh, the curiosity, the fear of missing out is worth for the Dr. Pepper chocolate one. If they come out with it stores, retail price is probably a decent amount to go ahead and try it. But if it's limited and doesn't come back, it's definitely one that you don't need to try. 
Unless you really think a Tootsie Roll flavored soda, it would be amazing. Um, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this review. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Bye.